today I'm going to show you how to give your kitchen that makeover you've always wanted using DC Fix Sticky Back Plastic. I've always loved the whole 50s American diner look and today I'm going to give my kitchen a true retro makeover. I've already made a start on the splashback using this gorgeous silver texture and then I've continued the theme onto the worktops using stainless steel durable film and that is a must have for any kitchen makeover. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to cover bevel doors in that beautiful glossy white finish you're after. And for that, you're gonna need the following things. You're going to need a hair dryer, a duster or clean cloth, a DC Fix applications kit containing a smoother and scalpel, a tape measure, sharp scissors, a pencil for marking up, and a screwdriver or drill. Take the door off its hinges and take off any handles too. Place the door on the flat surface that you're gonna work on and use the tape measure to measure the length and the width of the door. Use the backing paper to mark where you're gonna cut and measure exactly how much you'll need, allowing a little bit of wiggle room on every side, which is where you're going to fold. Give your surface a good clean to make sure you remove any grease or dust. Peel some of the backing paper away from the film and then flip it over and slowly start sticking the film down, allowing extra hang room on the sides. If you feel that it's a bit wonky, don't worry because you can always readjust the film given its water adhesive properties. Make sure that some of the film is here at the back so it's easy to pull and smooth down with your smoother. Sometimes you'll get air bubbles and that's okay because you can simply smooth them out or for the smaller ones, just prick them with a pin to let the air out. Once you've reached the beveled edges, continue towards the sides but avoid the intersection. Then we're going to grab the hair dryer and put it on lowest heat and focus on the inner edges. This will make sure that your film molds to your door, making your job a lot easier. Then grab a pin and prick a few holes along the section of the film that you're going to stick down on the sides. This will make sure that air escapes as you do smooth it down. From here, using your DC Fix smoother, push the film into the edges and corners, working from the middle outwards. Now it's time to work on the corners. Those can either be cut and wrapped or molded using a hair dryer, which is what I'm about to show you right now. So grab your hair dryer, adjust it to a warm setting, and blast some air on your edges whilst pulling the film. When you feel the film softening up, press it along your edges. And when you're happy with that smooth, neat finish, repeat the process on all four sides. So now that the cupboards are all done, what else? Well, I feel that my fridge freezer doesn't quite coordinate with the look I'm after and a new smeg is just way out of my price range. So what I'm gonna do is cover my fridge freezer with the exact same technique that I've used on the cupboards, starting from the top, heading downwards. The best part is I don't even have to remove the doors. All I need to do is remove the handles. If you're having trouble with air bubbles, spray some water on the surface first, which makes the application easier. Once again, don't worry about air bubbles forming because you can easily smooth them out with your DC Fix smoother. Once you've reached your display section, draw a big X over it and keep going down with your film. Then take your scalpel and cut around your X and your display section, creating a smooth, neat finish. For this fridge freezer, I'm going to cut my corners in. Begin by cutting a straight line from the corner of the film to the corner of the door. Fold one flap over and trim the excess. Repeat for the other flap. Once you're happy with the result, allow 24 hours for the film to bond with your surface before reattaching the handle. So that's it. I've completely redesigned my kitchen without replacing a single item. It looks fantastic and it's kind to my bank balance too.